He was so no, so good. Oh, I got hit brown. <laughs> hey, I just saw scary movie before. It was really funny. Remember when Dr. Phil cut off his wrong foot? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. What's that? Hey, what do you think it's used for? Hello. 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 What can I do for you? Well, we found this box and it has some symbols on it. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. Here. Thank you. Where do you think the box is from? I don't know, but it seems to be worth a lot. I'll tell you what. I'll pay you guys $1,000 for me to keep this box. Sure. Here you go. But that's only a ten. Now it's a thousand. I hope everyone will understand. Michael's back again. Oh. What's the problem? You know what? I think we have something this time. But what is it? It's a box. I got it from a couple of kids. Can I see it? Sure. You can have this for 10 grand. Okay, sure. Okay, here's your $10,000. Wait a minute, that's only five bucks. Too bad. Man. Hmm. Hey, have you seen all Hey, go scan this in the computer. Yeah, the aliens are coming. Hello? Hello? CBS News? Yeah, hello. Um, hi, I'm Xavier. I wanted to let you know the aliens are coming. Hello? San Francisco Chronicle? The aliens are here. They're coming. Yeah, they should be here any mo moment. No, I don't have any peanut butter. Why? What? Oh, absence. Yeah. I know. No, I'm not an alien. This is not a joke. This is for real now. Aliens. You know what? Forget you. Forget you. No, I'm hanging up first. Watch me. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, see you later. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt our program of dance music to bring you a special bulletin from the Intercontinental Radio News. 
At 20 minutes before 8 central time, Professor Farrell of the Mount Jennings Observatory, Chicago, Illinois, reports observing several explosions of incandescent gas occurring at regular intervals on the planet Mars. Would you please tell our radio audience exactly what you see as you observe the planet Mars through your telescope? Nothing unusual at the moment, Mr. Phillips. A red disc swimming in a blue sea. With dull rhymes and ugly shines in the ring with the frizzy bearded grizzly bear, he win the thing with an exquisite ring.